Hello, you wonderful people. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. It is just me today. And that's because we are doing a content creation tutorial. One of the faves, one of my faves, and I think one of your faves too. But today I'll be showing you how you can create 10 reels, technically short form videos that can be distributed anywhere really, right? Cause we like cross promoting, cross platform distribution and such, but 10 reels in 10 minutes. And you're probably thinking how in the world, Tiffany, but trust me, it's possible and it's easy. Now we all know at this point that short form video is the number one way to grow across nearly every social media platform. And it's the best way to drive people to your long form content. Now we clip every YouTube video we put out and we've shared with you that YouTube shorts alone contributed to nearly 500,000 views on our channel, but it has taken us a really long time to find a solution to make the editing process more efficient without sacrificing quality. So right now, Dan on our team does a lot of manual work for this across several pieces of software. And that's why I am so excited to share a solution for easily editing, engaging videos that I came across a couple months ago when I saw other notable creators in the industry using it as well. And that is Descript. Now, because I had seen other creators using it, I was actually researching them on my own. And then by some universe divine alignment, they reached out to us so I am so excited to be partnering with them as a sponsor of this video. For those who are unfamiliar with Descript, Descript is an AI powered end to end video editor that is literally as easy to use as editing a doc. You can do everything in one place without the need for multiple subscriptions and tools. So they position themselves as every communicator's toolkit. And what really makes editing so easy is the way the videos are transcribed and then presented in a doc style format. So it's a process we're all really used to and doesn't rely on you being some type of video expert. Now I'm going to edit down clips from one of our recent YouTube videos to show you exactly how this works. And before I get into the screen share though, I really want to talk about one of the biggest disservices you could do to yourself and your own opportunities for success as a content creator, which is to spend all of this time creating a long form piece of content and then not take the time out to do the most important step, which is to promote it across all platforms. And if you've noticed short form clips of things like podcasts and YouTube videos in general is what has caused a lot of creators to blow up. You see them all over. If you're on social media, every podcast personally that I've watched has been a result of me seeing a clip on like reels or shorts. And then I engage with it if I liked it. And then the algorithm served me more clips. And then eventually I just become a full on convert and I start watching their long form videos. Descript's AI powered tools make creating these types of clips really easy. So they have an AI powered editing assistant called underlord because remember these are assistants, not replacements. So they're underlords, not overlords, which is so impressive. And it's made just for creating videos, podcasts, and clips. It's also not exclusive to just clipping video content. You can record and create new reels or short form videos and edit them with Descript as well. So let's jump over into my desktop so you can see Descript in action. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new project. So the new project is going to be the long form video that we are cutting down. So again, this could be a long form video, or this could just actually be a reel that you've recorded that you want to edit. So we're going to upload this recent Q and a video, and it's going to load everything up and transcribe it into a document that has everything that you have said in this video alongside the actual video itself over in the right hand panel that you can see here. So when you're creating videos, these are called compositions. So the clips we're creating are going to be new compositions from this long form clip. Now, the first thing I just really want to show you is like, because I cannot emphasize enough how easy editing is. So as you can see, I have the transcription, right? But it's not just like the text, the text is also the edit. So when you have something in here, if you select it, you're selecting the video. And if you pop up the timeline here, you'll see what that video actually looks like. And of course it goes all the way through, but for example here, if you know, on a clip, I'm generally, when we're clipping things, we're not going to have like the introduction for YouTube. Like I had with you all here, like, hello, you wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel. So say we have the video here. And you can see what's happening here is it's highlighting the words 
as I am speaking. And that is because if I wanted to remove anything like this, for example, it would mean that I've actually cut that out of the video. So by me looking at the text, I just undid it again so you can see because it's just so simple. So here's the text. If I select something, that means I'm actually selecting the video in addition to selecting the words. And if I delete it from the text, it's cut out of the video. So again, if I hit play, where if I undo that, you'll see that if I hit play here, So literally the text you're highlighting, this is what I'm saying. It's as easy as editing a document. It's like, you're not even really edit. You're editing a video, but you're just really editing the text. And that's editing the video for you, which just makes it like so much easier to like see and absorb. So if I'm now looking through this and deciding what to clip, you can go through and read the text as is, and then make the decision for what you want to clip. Another thing that I love here is it allows you to assign the speakers. So in a video where there's multiple people, I was able able to tell the AI, which I'll talk about more in a second, that I'm Tiffany and that this is Craig, that there are two people. So that way it knows who is speaking. And if you're ever having a video where you're splicing between two speakers, it's obviously super important to have that so that it can automatically do that for you. So to show you now what that clipping process looks like, I've showed you how you can delete it. Look at this. Okay. So Craig is answering a question here, you know, and the question was, is Instagram still the best platform to grow on and where else should we focus? All I need to do is literally select the text that I want to use. I think I'll go up to here, say select copy. And I can also go through this one by one and kind of just read the entire thing and just end up selecting the clips that I like by highlighting them. So I could select 10 clips from reading this, but all I would need to do is copy that text and then create a new composition. And then I paste the text and it creates a new clip. That is the clip from copying and just pasting the text. That is a new clip created. And this one would be IG still, I could just title it. Cause obviously it makes it more simple when you have everything titled and that's the clip. So before I even show you more about editing down this clip, I want to show you some also very interesting things here. And I'm going to navigate back to the original video. So the original long form video, just to show you. So aside of that, in terms of being able to highlight and clip amazing, there are so many other things you can do with the underlord. It is so powerful. For example, you know, even filming this video right now, I'm going to have some ums and likes. And if we're in a short form clip, we specifically do not want to waste any time in filler words. And what's amazing is that the underlord can actually go through and pull out filler words out of your content. Incredible. So basically all you do, you head over to the underlord, you hit remove filler words, and it will detect the ums, uh, repeated words, like all of those things in your speech and highlight them. And then you can just ask the platform to remove. So you'll see, we have a ton in here. I'm going to say remove them all because honestly, in the end, as we always say with short form content, you don't want to waste any time. So having these us likes and all these things are not really going to be beneficial. So remove all and it'll remove those filler words for you. How incredible is that? Okay. Really impressive. Now, another really cool tool as well is you saw that I went through and I selected my own highlight here. So this, when I went through and I selected that text, that was the, my own highlight based on what I wanted to clip. But you can also leverage the underlord, the AI to pull highlights for you based on what it finds may be the best topics to actually highlight in your clip. Especially if you have very long clips, this will be very, very helpful. But all you do is navigate to the underlord, hit find highlights, let it know how many highlights. So for example, in this it's 10 because we want to do 10 clips in 10 minutes and we would just hit submit and the underlord is going to go through and pull what it feels are the most interesting highlights and clips of the videos that we can go through and actually clip ourselves. And of course I would recommend you go in, you decide, do I like the clip that it used? Can I add more to this? Do I want to delete more of this? But you would do what I showed you earlier where you decide on what your clips are and you copy them into a new composition. 
so efficient and we're all about efficiency and these are ways that AI is making things super, super efficient. On top of using the AI to help you find the highlights, so I'm just going to command Z this because I already found my clip, but on top of using it to find your highlights, you can also use it to create the clips for you. Again, you would just say, for example, I want 10 clips. I want them to be X amount of duration. I would say like 60 seconds because 60 seconds, generally speaking on Instagram, the shorter, the better but when we're thinking about cross promoting to multiple platforms, YouTube shorts only allows you at the time of recording to go up to 60 seconds. So we would generally always recommend that you try to keep your clips under 60 seconds or just your short form videos in general. So that way you can easily repurpose it without having to create more and more different pieces of content. Again, working smarter, not harder. But as you can see here, again, the Underlord can pick the most viral worthy moments. So the moments that it thinks are best, and then you can choose a layout. So whatever you like and how you want it to be displayed and then just hit submit and the underlord will again work at creating those clips for you could not be easier than that so now that i've had the chance to show you that i just want to head back over to the clip that i cut so that original clip that i just copy and pasted over into a new composition so of course you can see the video is in a landscape format that's not what social clips are supposed to look like in this day and age so now we need to switch it to 9 by 16. so i'll just navigate over to this tool hit portrait and that puts it into a vertical format and then obviously we want that to be full frame because that's how the best content is received on these platforms so i just hit position fill canvas and we have the full screen filled out and then i'm just going to move craig because he's the one talking into the center of the frame that's how easy it was to create the clip remember guys i just copied and pasted from the long form video and then i hit the change the layout to 9 by 16 and here i've positioned craig in the middle of that and i already have my bare clip now to work from. Now, once I positioned my clip, I could choose to make this more dynamic or more interesting by adding a few things in here. So let me show you the media section here. This is where you can access a volume of stock videos, GIFs, stock images, stickers, backgrounds, photos, everything. And for this, for example, because we're talking about Instagram, I could literally type in Instagram here. And if I wanted to add something to the scene to just kind of make it a little bit more dynamic, using one of these is as simple as literally dragging it over to where you want it to be in the timeline. So again, do you see like if I'm popping this in over Craig? The next question is, is I might put it here where he says, is Instagram still the best platform? And of course, another thing that I would do is fill the canvas because we want things to be full frame. That's how people consume content. And then I would choose how long I want the clip to be. So it would look like this. And then of course I can position it wherever I want it to be, but that's how easy it is to add video to a clip. Another thing that you're able to add is music. So you can choose to add music underneath your clip as well, which we generally do just a low music in the background to just kind of keep the vibe going all the way through. I'm showing you all these features. If you all want me to do like a really serious deep dive tutorial into this, just let me know. But I just really want to show you all the capabilities, well, at least a lot of the capabilities of what it can do and something else that is very important that I definitely want to show you is captions. So of course, we talk about this all the time. More than 50% of videos are watched without audio. So it's really important when you have something like a talking head video or a voiceover to have captions to prevent people from skipping through. So tons of captions options that you just go through by hitting captions on the right hand side there and as easy as being like, okay, cool. This is the one that I'd like to go with. You'd pop it over here. You can choose certain things like, okay, what type of colors do I want? Do I want, it's really nice when you can stick within your own theme colors, which is great. So you can add your own hex into this. So our hex or color code is 81A969. So in order to keep consistency there, we could have that show up in the captions as well. Look how easily that was applied. And again, you could use these captions, but another thing that I want to show you, which I think is very cool. So I'm just gonna delete these captions for now. I wanna head over into scene and show you some of the really cool templates that they have have two. So if you navigate to scene, click choose template, you can just use one of their templates as well. So I'm just testing one of these here. 
I would put take this out, but I would put what the question is. Is IG still the best platform? And then of course I would resize this to whatever format I want it to be. You can change the fonts. That's also of course very important in terms of staying on brand. You can add effects to it, which is very cool. So, you know, add a shadow, add animation. So you can have things fade in or fade out. You can have it scale up all these things that you're able to do. And then again, now I have like an interesting, just a different type of caption. You can play with these. That's why I love that there's so many templates. And then if I look through the clip, because right now now I have it at a minute and two seconds and I want it to be 60 seconds, I can also decide, yeah, I don't need yeah for sure, which would be a fair point. I could get rid of that too. And then when I'm looking here, I probably would cut out the next question is because it's a clip. So it's supposed to feel like uh, its own standalone, even though you're promoting, you know, usually the long form video. What's great is that when you're creating a clip and just something to keep in mind when you're creating clips is to make sure that they feel that they could stand alone. So it's not like a, just a teaser trailer. It's an actual clip that someone can get full information from and also want to share. So this gets me to under 60 seconds and then it just kicks off with the question. And then another thing I would love to show you all and again there's a lot of options under here um, and there's just like a lot that you can do which is so impressive is you can also translate to different languages. Now, when we talk about being more accessible, being able to translate your clips, if you have different audiences in different areas, and just also when we think about growing like a Mr. Beast channel where there's like, you know, every single language, basically he has his videos in, you could just hit translate captions, choose the language that you want it to translate to. So I'm just saying French because, you know, also lived in a French province for a long time. And then we open the translation. And as you can see, direct right there and also available for you to edit. But I'm not gonna say, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into the French reading here, but the French is there for you. Once you have your video clipped and everything is positioned exactly where you want it to be, literally all you need to do is hit publish and publish your video. How efficient is that, okay? Look how simple that was to create a clip. And again, I'm talking you through it, so obviously it takes a bit longer, but you can see that you're copying and pasting, editing it down, leveraging the AI in order to best help you cut out some of those filler words, maybe even enhance your audio. Oh, and you can also have the AI, the Underlord, help you draft your social captions. Talking about efficiency and working smarter and not harder. And I know there are a lot of members in our community and our actual membership group who have spoken about like wanting to find solutions for this. And this is the best solution that we have found so far for very easy video editing. And again, the clipping aspect is just one part of what Underlord and Descript overall can do. There is so much more beyond just helping you create short form videos, including recording your videos and your podcast, correcting your audio, and literally fixing eye contact. I'm putting an overlay here so you can see what that looks like, because how wild is that? So you can see Descript is really unique, and that's because it was built clearly with an understanding of how creators work and the hurdles that they face, which allows us now to work faster and smarter while maintaining our creative integrity, which is something that we should never sacrifice. We're loving Descript and I really think that you will like it too. So what you can do is try out Descript for yourself by visiting the link in the description or by scanning the QR code that pops up here to get started with Descript for free. Please try it out and let us know what you think. Again, fantastic for editing down your long form, but for also editing your short form video. So batch filming, batch creating, as we always talk about, and then batch editing. All right, that is it for today. That is how you can edit 10 Instagram reels in 10 minutes using Descript. Thank you so much again to Descript for partnering with us on this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and definitely check out this video next. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.